Charged objects interact with other objects in their surroundings, and by observing these interactions, we can often predict the type of charge an object possesses. To do so, apply these three simple rules of charge interactions. First, two like charged objects repel each other. Second, two oppositely charged objects attract each other. And third, any charged object, whether positive or negative, and a neutral object also attract each other. Notice that attract each other appears on our list twice. So if two objects are observed to attract each other, there are two explanations as to why. First, both objects could be charged with opposite types of charge, one positive, the other negative. Or second, one of the objects could be charged and the other object is neutral. Further observations would have to be made to determine which explanation applies. Now let's mix our rules 1, 2, and 3 with some logical reasoning to solve four example problems. In example 1, we know balloon X is positive and X and Y repel. Balloons Y and Z also repel. What is the charge on balloons Y and Z? From rule 1, only light charge objects repel. So if balloon X is positive, Y must also be positive. Balloons Y and Z also repel, so balloon Z is also positive. In example 2, we know X is positive and X and Y attract. According to rule 2, opposites attract, so Y could be negative. But according to rule 3, Y could also be neutral since a charged and neutral object attract. But we also observe balloon Y and Z repelling each other. So Y must be charged since only like charged objects repel. So balloon Y is negative, And since Y and Z repel, Z must also be negative. In example 3, X is positive and X and Y attract. So Y could be negative by rule 2 or neutral by rule 3. Y and Z are observed to also attract but we have limited knowledge about Y. If Y were negative, then Z would attract it if it were positive or neutral. But Y could also be neutral, and Z would attract it if it were negative or positive. So in conclusion, we know Y is negative or neutral, but we have very little knowledge about Z. In example 4, X is positive and X and Y attract. Y and Z also attract, and balloon Y attracts neutral paper bits. That's three Y interactions. The fact that Y attracts neutral paper bits means that Y must be charged according to rule three. And Y's interactions with positive X indicates that Y must have a negative charge according to rule two. Finally, the fact that negative Y and Z attract means that Z's charge must either be positive according to rule two or neutral according to rule three. These four examples illustrate how logic and three simple rules of charge interactions allow you to predict the charges on objects. I'm Mr. H letting you know that you got this.